Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. In this review, we're going to take a look at the new Atherin Genesis second run GEP42DC. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the Phase 6 Amtrak Heritage Unit number 108. First up though, it is disclaimer time. The pros and cons in this video are not representations of my personal opinion. They attempt to be objective in nature and as such are either community opinions or facts about the model that I can represent on camera, so please don't assume that anything in this video is my personal opinion unless I state so otherwise. Additionally, it's important to note that I do not speak on behalf of Atherin and am not endorsed by any company. I'm an independent reviewer and the work I do does not reflect the thoughts of any companies in question. Got it? Get it? Good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. General Electric's Genesis series of locomotives were built for Amtrak as well as some commuter operators between 1993 and 2001. They've grown to be the face of Amtrak in the early 21st century and will soon be retired from the roster in the coming years with the arrival of new ALC-42 Charger locomotives from Siemens Mobility. However, that fact did not stop Amtrak from taking five P-42 DCs and painting them into the special heritage paint schemes for their 50th anniversary in 2021, one of them being the 108 seen here. The unit received the brand new Phase 6 paint scheme, which debuted on Charger Locomotive number 300 that same year, along with a special Amtrak 50th anniversary logo on the sides of the unit. Speaking from a personal standpoint here, but I think the 108 is the best out of all the 50th anniversary units. I just love the red nose on the unit and the dark blue, and it's so refreshing to see a paint scheme like this, especially considering that Amtrak's Phase 5 scheme is what I've come to see the bulk of my life. The models were released earlier this year in 2024 and come equipped with DCC and Tsunami 2 sound and can be operated on your DCC system of choice or with a conventional DC power pack. Detail-wise, this model is your typical Atherin Genesis unit. Superb detail and crisp paint. A-plus for sure on those fronts. The only real problems I had with this model out of the box was the fact that the coupler was really low on this unit. So I replaced the rear coupler on my locomotive with a KD number 21 coupler, which fixed the uncoupling issues I was having. Also, I should note that for some reason, the DCC decoder on my particular unit did not like taking three-digit addresses for the road number, so I had to set mine as 1088 instead of 108. Points off there, but I'm still able to run the model, which I'm okay with. Aside from those two issues, this is a fantastic model and one that I'm happy to add to my Amtrak fleet. Alright, let's go ahead and run the 108 around the layout for a bit.
All right, that just about does it for the 108. Atherin sells these units for a suggested MSRP of $309.99 for DCC and sound equipped models. If you, like me, are a fan of Amtrak and want to add a now classic locomotive with a new look to your collection, this is certainly a good choice. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next review. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.